So we have uh, business IGCSC pass paper 2022 major paper one. So we scroll down. It's a TBTS select toys to sell that are excellent to play for play, value, design, and quality. Are you there? All, TB, all TBTS toys are environmentally friendly. When they are environmentally friendly, it means they are they they don't affect people, they don't affect the society. They they cannot pollute the air. Whatever the whatever TBTS use in producing those toys are environmentally friendly. That means they are sustainable. That is the point there. So now they said, which one of the following is a form of promotion that targets a specialized segment of the market? A form of promotion that targets a specialized segment of a market is here they said mass marketing when we're talking about mass marketing that's a whole market not a segment of a market it is not a b niche market marketing niche marketing simply means you are providing you are providing goods for specific customers and that's the answer so the answer is niche marketing question one is b it is not market share because market share means the percentage of a sale the percentage of the total brand sale divided by the market share multiplied by 100. So it is not so divided by the total brand sale. Total brand sale divided by the total market sale multiplied by 100. That is what market share is. It is not. And market analysis is about gathering information about the market. So the answer is B. Is it clear? Yes. So when marketing is being, uh, when, when marketing is targeted for specific specialized segment, it is called niche market. So the answer is B. Yes. Question two. Oh, one one uh, woman figure two. Which one of the following is the financial aim for a business? Survival, challenge, social objectives, personal satisfaction. Personal satisfaction is a non-financial objective. Social objective is a non-financial objective. Challenge is also a non-financial objective. The only financial objective here is survival. And when we talk about survival, we're talking about continuing being in the business, to continue existing in the business. That is what survival is. And that would need money. Before you can continue to be in a business, yeah, that means at least you, you have cash available. So the answer is A, survival. Question, C, question three, woman figure three. Which one of the following is a variable cost? When we talk about variable cost, these are cost that changes as the level of output changes. Cost that change as the level of output changes. Rent is fixed. Management salaries, salary is fixed. Insurance is fixed. Raw materials are the only cost, uh, are the only t resources that change as the level of output changes. For raw materials, these are the things you use in producing goods. So the more raw materials you have, the more money you pay on them, the more cost on it. So the answer is D. Is it clear? Yes. Roman figure four. Which one of the following is a role? Which one of the following is a role of the production function? For production function, it means production. So that is to the production department. Workforce planning, it is human resources function. Quality control, that is the only thing that deals with production. And what is quality control? Measuring quality at the end of production. So the answer is B. Customer service is marketing. It is not production. Staff welfare, it's also human resources. So the answer is B. Is it clear? Yes. Qu Roman figure five. Which one of the following is the markup on a pack of balance? The formula for markup is profit per item divided by cost per item multiplied by 100. Markup, the formula for markup is Profit per item divided by cost per item multiplied by 100. And the profit per item here, how do we get our profit? Our profit is selling price minus cost price divided by cost price multiplied by 100. So selling price here is 16.90, cost price is 7.2 divided by cost price which is 7.2 multiplied by 100. So the answer is 134.72%. 134.72% D. Clear? Roman figure 6. They said that uh, TPTS sells balloons in pack of four at a price of 67.60 SGD. The exchange rate is 1.6. One, uh, the exchange rate is one SGD equals to 3.05 Malaysian ringgit. So they said, which one of the following would a customer in Malaysia pay in M in MYL for four balloon packs? So it is if one SGD is 3.05, and we have 67.60, it will be 67.60 multiplied by 3.05. So the answer is 2086.18 MIL. Clear? Yes. I worked it here anyway. It's here. Yes. So it is. It is there. One SGD is this. So 67.60 multiplied by 30.5 gives us gives us 206.18. That's the answer. And for the other one, for the markup, which I did not, I explained anyway. The markup is 
The formula for markup is pro uh, profit per item divided by cost per item multiplied by 100. The profit is the selling price minus cost price multiplied by 100 divided by cost price. So it is 134.72. It's there. So we have that. We go on to B now, right? Yes. No. B. No. B. Yes, B. Which one? Sorry. I think B I still have, I need the paper, please. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay, yeah. We go to B, question B. He said, divide the term primary sector. When you talk about primary sector, primary sector is a sector that deals with the extraction of raw materials. The extraction of raw materials. That is the primary sector. Clear? Then, question C. Divide the term, these economies of scale. When we talk about these economies of scale, these economies of scale occurs when a firm is expanding and its average cost of production is increasing. Your it's expanding, the firm is expanding. And when the firm is expanding, it is expected of the firm to reduce its average cost of production. But as soon as the firm is expanding and the average cost of production is increasing, that brings, that is called econ these economies of scale. But if you are expanding as a firm and your average cost is reducing, that is what we call, we call economies of scale. These economies of scale occurs if the firm's average cost is increasing while expansion. Is it clear? Yes. During expansion. Is it clear, please? Yes, Question D. State one factor TBTS should consider when selecting its manufacturers. You can TBTS is a it produces toys, right? Yes. So it needs manufacturers. So TBTS should consider envir the environment. TBTS should buy from manufacturers that are env that are environmentally friendly or environmentally conscious. It is there anyway. Get to see. So go to you have this now, please. We have question E. Are you there? Yes. They said, calculate the total cost for TBTS of making 160 wooden co toy carts. You are advised to show your working. We have our available cost per unit, per unit to be 0 0.93. Our fixed cost is 555.31. So how do we calculate our total cost? Total cost is fixed cost plus variable cost. FC plus VC gives us TC. So our TC here, our FC is 55.31. 3.31 and our VC will be 0 0.93 0 0.93 multiplied by the total number of wooden toy cards 160 so 0 0.93 multiplied by 160 gives us 148.8 so TC which is FC plus VC will be 555.31 plus 148.8 that gives us 704.11 that is the total cost 704.11 I think it's clear is it clear please so go to F. Explain one advantage of being a sole trader. A sole trader is an individual who owns and controls its business. That is a sole trader. The advantage I wrote here is that sole trader keeps all the profits. It's a sole trader. So all the profit made by the business is kept by the sole trader. So I wrote sole trader keeps all the profits, which means that which means they don't have to share the return on their investment with anyone. That's the advantage. You keep all the profits yourself. You don't share with anybody. Is it clear? Yes. We go to question G. Are you there? Yes. Analyze the likely impact of external factors on business decision, decisions made by TBTS. When we talk about external factors, external factors are factors that are beyond the control, beyond the control of the business. So there are social factors and technological factors. There is social, there is technological, there is environmental, there is political, personal, there is political, there is environmental, there is social. This economical. So I'm writing about, I'm talking about social factors and technological factors. For social factors, these are factors that affect, that comes as a result of the society. So when we talk about the society, we're talking about the customers in the society. So I wrote, social factors, this occurs as a result of changes in the society, society, such as customers' behavior. So customers might be attracted to TBTS, for example, due to some group of customers recommending them, recommending TBT, uh, toys, because TBTS make toys. So some customers might recommend TBTS toys to other people. So that will increase TBTS re uh, revenue. Do you get the point I'm making here? Social factor is about the society. And who lives in the society? The customers, the people. So they might recommend TBTS toys, and that would increase TBTS sales and revenue. Then I wrote about technological factor. When we talk about technological factor, we're talking about advancement in technology. Advancement in technology means that there are new technology, in, there are new technologies. So if there's new technology, if TBTS cannot invest in new technology, it might lose out to other competitors who can invest in technology. 
So for TBTS to continue to be relevant, to, be, to continue to be uh, in the market, it will have to invest in the latest technology so that things will become efficient and better. Clear. So that is question one of paper one, 2022. So go to question two. Are you there? Yes. Question two, they said, state one way TBTS can measure its success as a business. A firm like TBTS or a business like TBTS can measure its success through the profit it makes. So TBTS can measure if it, it's a successful business or not through the profit it makes. So TBTS has to compare the profit of the previous year with this year. So if the profit of this year, of the present year, yes. is more than the profit of the previous year, it means TBTS is successful. Is it clear? Question B, state one reason why TBTS might segment its market. Market segment means you have, you've, you have, you have, um, you have made the market, into, you have separated the market into different categories or char characteristics, based on different characteristics, maybe by age, by income, by religion. These are what market segment is. When you segment the market, you are, you select the market, you split the market into different categories based on different characteristics. That is what market segment is. So, yeah, I will. TBTS might segment its market according to age, as it allows it to produce different age categories for toys. It sells toys. So, and different, there are different ages of toys, right? There are different ages, age categories that need toys and the kind of toys they need. So, TBTS might need to categorize or separate the market by different ages, maybe from one year to three years, these are the kind of toys they want. From four years to seven years, these are the kind of toys they want. That is what the point is. Is it clear? Yes. Question C. Explain one benefit of, to a business of having a flat organizational structure. A flat organizational structure has wide span of control, which means, and when we talk about wide span of control, it means large numbers of subordinates under a manager. So, but the advantage about a flat organizational structure is that decision making will be quicker because the layers of hierarchy, the hierarchy is reduced. And when hierarchy is reduced, it means how information passes through each level will be shorter than longer. As a result of that, as a result of that, decision making will be faster. You want to say something? Okay. So that's about flat organizational structure. Then we'll go to question D. Are you with me, please? Yes. If you have a question, you ask. Explain what method a small business might use to increase its profit. As a small business, if you want to increase your profit, you might start buying from cheap suppliers. When you buy from cheap suppliers, that means your cost of produ production would reduce. And if your cost of production reduces and you're still selling at the same price, it means your cost price is less than your selling price. Then you make profit. Get the point here. They said, how might a small business make profit? A small business might make profit by buying from a cheap supplier. Buying from a cheap supplier means your cost of production would fall. And if your cost of production falls and you are still selling at the same price, you'll be making profit. Why will you be making profit? You'll be making profit because your, so your cost price is less than your selling price. Is it clear? Yes. Question E. Explain one... Um, one Explain one benefit of using boosting matrix. Explain one benefit of to a business of using the boosting matrix. When the business uses boosting matrix, it allows the business to monitor its. It allows the business to monitor. Where is the extension? It's not charging, please. Question E, explain one benefit to a business of using the boosting matrix. When a business uses the boosting matrix, it allows the business to monitor or to manage its, its product portfolio. And when you're managing your product portfolio, it means you want to know the cash cow, the dog, the question mark, and the star. So with this, you'll be able to know if you are producing products that are similar in, in nature. And this will allow you to, you know, to reduce those products, or it allows you to know if you need to start producing a new product. That is what product port portfolio is about. Product port portfolio is about the different kinds of products you have as a business. And if you want to ma manage them, you want to monitor them, to know if you have to take some away or you have to introduce new one, you use the posting matrix. Is it clear? Yes. Question F. TBTS wants to sell a wider variety of toys. It is planning to buy these toys from other suppliers. 
This will need new finance. What is finance? Finance is the disbursement of funds from the surplus unit to the deficit unit. So they said you can, there are sources of finance like you retain profit, which is an internal source of finance. Getting a bank loan is an external source of finance. So for using retained profit, when you use retained profit, retained profit is the profit made by the business which is not shared or distributed to shareholders, but it's rather been put back into the business. It is profit you make that you did not distribute to the shareholders, rather you put it back into the business. That is why we call it retained profit. The advantage of retained profit is that when you put the money back into the business, you are not, the money you put back into the business will help you to expand and you are not going to pay interest to anybody because you did not borrow the money, the money for the business. But the problem about retained profit is that it might not be enough for the business to expand. And also, another problem about retained profit is that before you can make profit, before you can make profit, you would, before your profit can be high, you would, you would have stayed for a long period of time in the business. Sit properly, please. You would have stayed a long period of time in the business before you can start making profit. So you might not be able to use retained profit as a new business. That's about retained profit. Then, getting a bank loan. A bank loan is an external source of finance. The advantage, of, uh, the advantage about a bank loan is that you will be able to take large amount of money needed for the business. TPTS will be able to use large amount of money to increase, its toy, uh, to increase the toys it produces. But the problem about bank loan is that you have to pay interest on the loan and you have to repay back. That is about bank loan. Is it clear? Is it clear, please? So, that ends question two, right? Yes. We we'll go to question three. Have it, please. Sorry. So, we we'll go to question three. Are you with me? Yes. For question three, Divide the term inventory. When you talk about inventory, inventory is the goods the business has to sell. The goods that the business has in possession to sell. That is what inventory is. Is it clear? Yes. Then question B. Apply one method that TBTS might use to respond to greater competition. TBTS may increase advertisement. When, you, when there's increasing competition in the market, the, one of the things you could do is to increase your advertisement. And when you are increasing your advertisement, it means you want to create awareness about your product or about your service or about your operations. So TPTS could use, TPTS might, may increase advertisement to create awareness about how environmentally friendly it, it is compared to those of its competitors. Because people are conscious about the environment. So TPTS, because there is increasing competition, TPTS might use advertisement to let the people know how environmentally, how environmental conscious TPTS is compared to those of its competitors. Is it clear? Is it clear please? Question C. TPTS toy shop had current liabilities of 36,000 SGD and current assets of 216,000 SGD, SGD. Calculate the current ratio for 2021. For current ratio, the formula for current ratio is current assets divided by current liabilities. So the current asset here is 216,000. The current liability is 36,000. So it gives us 6. Current ratio is current assets divided by current liability. So 216,000 divided by 36,000, which is 6. So that is the current ratio. Question D. Are you with me, please? Analyze the importance of TBTS motivating its employees. If TBTS motivates its employees, it could bring about the following benefit. Number one, increase productivity. If workers are motivated, they will be willing to do more. They will be willing to work harder. And if they are working harder, it means productivity will increase, output will increase for TBTS. Number two. Workers that are motivated are unlikely to leave the organization. They won't leave because they are happy working with you. So if they are happy working with you, it means TPTLs will not need to employ more workers. Like schools now, they look for teachers around. If their workers are, if their workers are happy, they won't want to leave. They wouldn't want to leave. They would be searching. So, and in the course of searching, they have to pay more. So if workers are happy, they won't want to leave TPTLs. And if they are not leaving TPTLs, TPTLs do not, does not need to spend on the recruitment process anymore. So it reduces the cost on recruit of recruitment, on recruitment for TBTS. Is it clear? That's about that. We'll go to question what now? Question. Yeah, question E. TBTS is planning to introduce a new range of toys for four-year-old children. It will need to carry out some research from its customers, including children and parents, to find out what they want. 
TPTS is considering two options, questionnaire and focus group. When we talk about questionnaire, these are forms that brings about questions. That means there are questions that interviewers ask interviewees or respondents must answer. That's questionnaire. A form of research through question. That is questionnaire. And for focus group, that means you select certain group of people, select certain people to monitor or to observe them. That is focus group. So I start with questionnaire. I wrote questionnaire. This allows TVTS to receive direct feedback from customers who purchase toys on behalf of their children. As this might help TVTS to understand the elements that the customers like about the toys. When you use questionnaires, when you give questionnaires out to people, they fill it, they return it to you, yes or no? So they return it immediately to you, then you are able to get a feedback on your questions. So that allows you to know what customers like about your product or what they don't like about your product. But the problem here is that TBTS location is around the airport, based on the case study. TBTS location is around the airport, and people are at the airport, they are busy people, they want to move, they are waiting for flight, yes or no? So because they are waiting for flight, they might not be able to answer those questions. So that they might not be able, and even if they answer the questions, they might not answer it rightly. So those questions, those questionnaires might not be useful for TBTS because they are not valid. It's a clear. Then that is for questionnaire. Then for focus group. Focus groups, are, it means TBTS can use, can use focus group to observe children. So TBTS can use its employees to observe children playing with the toys. So when they play with the toys, the employees are there to check, to see the reaction of the children playing with the toys. You know, TBTS employees have gathered some children to play with the toys in a new environment. So this allows TBTS to employees to recall the events in the scene and also to see the reaction of children, children when they are playing with the toys. But the problem about focus group here is that those children, you have taken them from their home, you have put them in a new environment. So putting them in a new environment, they might not be comfortable. As a result, what the, ob the, the objective of the focus group might not be visualized or might not be, uh, might not be actualized. Is it clear? Yes. That's about focus group. That ends question four. Question three. So go to question four. Are you with me? Question four. TPTS let customers sign up for a very important person, VIP membership on its website. The website gives VIP members special rates and exclusive offers. TPTS sells dinosaur toy for 22.80 SGD. VIP members get a discount of 15%. Calculate the total cost to a VIP member of buying 17 dinosaur toys. Your advice to show you're working. So, the selling price, the selling price is 22.80. And the number of toys is 17. So 17 multiplied by 22.80 gives us 387.6. So 387.6 is the total amount, but there is a discount of 15%. So the total cost will be 387.6 minus the discount. 387.6 minus 387.6 multiplied by 15 over 100, that gives us 58.14. So 3876. 387.6 minus 58.14 gives us 329.46. So this is the total cost. This is the total cost to the VIP for buying a dinosaur. Is it clear? Have it, please. That's question four. We go to four B. Are you with me, please? Yes. Question four B. We have the asset test ratio. For asset test ratio, the formula for asset test ratio is current asset minus inventory divided by current liability. Asset test ratio, current asset minus current uh, minus inventory divided by current liability. For current ratio, it's current asset minus divided by current liability. So for asset test ratio, they said we should say the importance of asset test ratios. The first one I wrote is that asset test ratio can be used by TBTS to understand if it has enough cash to cover any short-term debts, as it can be seen that it increases from 0.75 to 0.88 between 2018 to 2020. So one of the reasons why we use asset test is to know if we have enough cash to pay our short-term debts. Short-term debts, these are debts that we have to pay within a year. Our trade, uh, trade creditors, we have to pay them within a year. So these are short-term debts. Do we have enough money for that? We get to know through our asset test ratio. That's the first point. The second one, it can be used by TBTS to assess if it needs to take any short-term finance for any project. As you are using it, as you use your asset test ratio to know if you have enough cash to pay your short-term debts, 
It's the same way you, have, you can use it to know if you need short-term finance, like bank overdraft mm -hmm. or credit supplies. Is it clear? Yes. Question C. Evaluate the importance of good internal and external communication to TBTS. You, use, you should use the information provided as well as your own knowledge of business. So here you have to define what internal communication is and what external communication is. What is internal communication? Internal communication is the communication that occurs within the business. This could be for communication between the employers and the owners. It's internal communication. Managers and subordinates, it's internal communication. And for external communication, external communication is the communication that occurs between the owners of the business and the stakeholders, like suppliers, like customers, like the government, like this is like the banks, like competitors. These are external communication. Is it clear? Is it clear, please? Yes. So we go to the importance of good internal communication. I wrote internal, internal good internal communication. Okay. Good internal communication is important as it creates awareness about the kind of toys TBTS produces and its aims to employees. When there is good internal communication, so it means TBTS owners will be able to communicate effectively with its employees about what the objective of the business and this is good for TBTS because the owners will be motivated, the employees will be motivated they know their value they know they are carried along with what is happening in the organization so both the employers and the owners are in the same situation and the objective is the same it's yes. clear this may reduce staff turnover that means workers might be happy because staff turnover will reduce they are happy because they are valued Therefore, good external communication, good external communication may improve the relationship between the suppliers of TBTS. If there's good co external communication, it means communication between the owners of TBTS and suppliers, there will be good relationship. Because you, are, you tell them where you need supplies, you make order quickly, and they, they will be able to give you quicker, in a, they will be able to respond to you promptly. But if there's no good communication between you and your suppliers, your orders will be delayed, your customers will be waiting for you, they won't get things they needed from your shop or your store, they go to other co competitors. That's the importance of good communication. Is it clear? Is it clear, please? Yes, yes. So that ends the lesson of business, uh, the past paper for business, paper one, May, June, 2022. I hope that Welcome you will it now. <laughs>